All right, guys. My name is Adam. I'm from Victor Ops. I'm actually from Denver, Colorado, but one of my colleagues is from Seattle and urged me to do a talk on the Seattle Supersonics. So for those of you not aware, the Seattle Supersonics were an NBA team that packed its bags and left for Oklahoma City in 2008. <laughs> and So before they left, uh, they went to the NBA Finals three times, won the NBA championship in 1979, and had seven Hall of Fame players. They were really successful and had great fans. So what happened? Well, in 2006, they were owned by an investment group that was headed up by Howard Schultz. They played in Key Arena, which was the smallest arena in the NBA, and owners went to the city to ask for funding to remodel the arena. When they were denied, they decided to sell to another investment group out of Oklahoma City, and that new investment group went to the city and asked them to fund a brand new arena. And when that failed, they, asked, they told the NBA that they would be leaving. So the, there was a lot of lawsuits that followed, but the city and the fans could not stop the team from leaving. So let's close our eyes and imagine a different world where the magical DevOps unicorn poots on the whole situation, and let's fantasize how DevOps could have saved the Supersonics. So the need for innovation really drove the popularity of Agile. And within Agile, developers are incentivized to release faster and faster. And so they got really efficient at delivering code. Well, this causes a strain on operations teams because they are incentivized to keep systems up and running. And those constant changes can bring those systems down. So these conflicting goals really pitted each group against each other, thwarting the innovation. If you can align goals, you can get everyone moving in the same direction and break down a lot of the silos that are built up, increase collaboration and feedback loops, and thus driving innovation in your company. So it's not really as simple as this, but let's see how misalignment of goals really affected the Sonics. Remember, they were playing in the smallest arena in the NBA, and the owners really needed to increase revenue so that the team could stay competitive. Really, they, they needed to innovate. And at the time, the owners really stated that they publicly, they wanted to keep the team in Seattle. But let's face it, they're an investment group. They had one goal with the team, and that's to make money. So they had two options. One, they could increase capacity, or two, sell the team. So a few years before this, both the, the Mariners and the Seahawks received public funding to build brand new stadiums. However, each time the Sonics went to the city to get funding, the, the city turned them down and asked them to provide a higher percentage of the funding for the remodel. However, if both of these groups could have aligned goals, surely they could have at least come to an agreement to remodel the existing arena. So it wasn't aligning goals that doomed the Sonics solely on its own. So let's look at how misalignment of goals really affects other areas of DevOps, like silos, feedback loops, and measurement. And as we go through this activity, think about your organization and the goals of the groups that are involved in your delivery lifecycle. So the misalignment of goals really creates natural silos and a mentality of, it's not my problem. Uh, the, a lot of the voters thought that the owners were responsible for funding. The owners thought the public was responsible because the city owned the arena. So there was a lot of finger pointing. Were they measuring the right things? So Key Arena in Seattle holds 17,000 people. Chesapeake Energy Arena in Oklahoma City holds 18,200. So do you think they left over only 1,000 seats in an arena? Feedback loops are essential for decision making, and if you're not making or you're not measuring the right things, then you won't have essential or effective feedback loops. Now, were, were the owners really measuring the right things when they were solely looking at the capacity of the arena? If, you're, if these two sides were able to align goals and measure the right things, then they could have collaborated to come up with a plan to keep the team in Seattle. Now, would DevOps really have saved a team that was in Seattle for 41 years. Uh, I, I'm not sure for certain, but I know it would have helped. Uh, one thing that I do know is that if they would have stayed, they would have had Ray Allen and 
combine him with the fans here in Seattle, they definitely would have won the NBA championship. I mean, they went, Oklahoma City went to the finals in 2012. So my message to you guys is as you go through the conference here in the next couple of days and you start to have discussions around these various topics on DevOps, really think about how they're interrelated and they affect each other. So if you modify one of them, they can hinder or help other areas. So thank you.